Hey, here we go. This is uh, our second SketchUp assignment, and I'll show you what we're working on. On the website, it uh, is entitled The Chair. And uh, th this handout that I'm showing you right now, actually, for me, when I'm making this movie, it is not posted on my website, but it will be for you. And it has all of the instructions. Um, now I'm going to do a run through of how to do this. The big thing that you might want to know today is the bonus point situation. Uh, this is a 30 point thing. Making the chair is required. And then the bonus part of it is making a, an end table with a lamp. Uh, oh, uh, two parts to the bonus, sorry. Um, five points bonus, making a little like an end table next to the chair. And then five more points bonus making a lamp on the end table. And those, the bonus obviously is do it if you want to, don't do it if you don't want to. But what's required is the construction of the chair. And notice it says, uh, this, this movie is going to demonstrate how to do the chair. And then the top of the back of the chair must be curved. We're going to use the arc tool to do that. I'll show you that. you got to fill it with all of these assignments. You have to fill what you build to get the points. So don't forget to fill it. You have to fill it. Save it on your network drive. It'll be SketchUp number two or chair, whatever you want to call it. Turn it in on Schoology, and you're good. I'm going to show you what this sort of looks like. Here I am in SketchUp, and there's a chair with a table and a lamp sitting on the, um, the, t the, the table. Now, you see what I mean by the top of the back of the chair has to be curved? Look at the top of the back of the chair. It is curved. Hmm. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to curve the top of the back of the chair. All right, well, I'm going to just get a new project started. So once you're in SketchUp and you get it all loaded up and ready to go, uh, you can take your black arrow and you can delete this sample person that's here if you wish. Here's how it begins. Take the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle flat on the ground. Now, don't make it too huge. Um, all right, I'm going to roll, roll my mouse wheel and zoom in on that a little bit. And I'm going to push-pull that up. We use the push-pull tool. I'm going to make it a little bit more square. There we go. About like that. That looks yeah, a little bit more square. That looks pretty good. Um, the push-pull tool, we used that yesterday in the, in the previous assignment. So you've learned a little bit about that. So I'm going to pull that into a box. Now, it's time to start putting this chair or making a chair out of this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to view this this three-dimensional box that I have created uh, from one side and I'm going to draw a rectangle on that side like that. All right, right on that face right there. Now I'm going to take the push-pull tool, uh, keyboard shortcut letter P, and I'm going to take this surface that I created right here, this smaller rectangle, and I'm going to push it all the way through to the other side until it does until it says like offset right there and look what happens boom oh I cut right through it well all right so that helps that's part of building the chair right there so it's you know you make this box to begin with and then push straight through now for the next part I'm going to recommend that you do this from the inside out all right, um, kind of. I'm going to go underneath. This is going to be the seat of the chair here, and I'm going to go underneath that seat. And here's what I'm going to do. Watch. Draw a rectangle. Just kind of eyeball it to get it the, you know, the size you want. Draw a rectangle in here. I'm, I'm like on the, on the underneath side, on the inside here. And I'm going to use push-pull, and I'm going to shove this out this way. And when it goes out and it says you get that little pop-up says offset limited, boom. Oh, look, I cut. Oh, I've got two legs of the chair. Now on mine, those are going to be the front legs. Uh, it just depends on which way you make the chair facing is all. All right, so I'm going to orbit this around, orbit around, and I'm going to do the same thing underneath. I'm on the inside here, so I'm going to take the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm just eyeballing it, just trying to make it look halfway decent here. All right, so I drew a little rectangle right in here, and I'm going to take the push-pull tool. I'm going to shove it from the inside out. There we go. Got that offset little pop-up right there. Boom. And I cut through like that. Well, look what I've got now. Hot diggity. I've got a seat and four legs of my chair. If I orbit and kind of look down at it from the top. Okay, good. Great. All right. Well, 
let's do this now. I'm going to make the back of the chair. So I'm going to come and get this pencil tool. It's called the line tool. It looks like a pencil. So I'm going to get the pencil tool. I'm going to click on this edge over here. Now you could do it either way. Uh, you, I'm going to make the back of the chair. Where do you want the back to be? Well, it's up to you. Watch how I do this and then make it how you want to which face make it face whichever way you want. All right, I'm going to click here and drag straight across. Now look at that. See how it's red? It's lining up with the red axis, and I want it to stay on axis here. All right, good. So I'm right like that. Pow. Good. Just drew a line from edge to edge, kind of like that. I'm going to take the push pull and I'm going to raise it up. And oh look, this is looking very chair like now. That's the back of my chair. Yay. This is progressing nicely. You can push pull that up. You know, you want a real high chair or a lower chair, whatever. Whatever. All right. Well, now the final part of the chair is going to be to use the arc tool. And we're going to work on um, making this curve on the back of the chair. So I'm going to take the arc tool. Now, you may have, I don't know, you may have to try this two or three times before you get it to work. But watch, here's what I'm going to do click on this edge. Here's how the arc tool works click on this edge. Come right straight across there. Stay on axis there. That red line tells me I'm lined up with the axis. Click here. That's a second click right there. And then just raise it up a little bit. And it's a third click. So this is a three click thing. I clicked over here. I clicked over here. And then I raised it up and I clicked up here. So it made that curved line. And guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to take the push pull tool, keyboard shortcuts, the letter P. I'm going to take this area right here, this surface, and shove it back until I hit the bow. Oh, offset. Okay, good. Boom. Oh, look. That is a chair with a curved back. I love it. I'm going to go get my flood fill bucket. Uh, find something that you would like to use to fill the chair with. You know, the materials we kind of talked about these in our lesson one. Uh, get the flood fill bucket, pick a, uh, you know, wh whatever you want, like wood or water. I don't care if you fill it with water. It doesn't matter. Just fill it with something. But you do have to fill it. I'm filling mine with one of the styles of wood that is available here. And when you're filling, remember, you kind of got to orbit around, do a little orbiting, and make sure that you get all of the areas that should be filled, right? Now, I don't care about the things that are underneath. It's not like it's hard to fill them. See, I could do it. It's not like it's hard. But make sure that you take a peek in there and get everything that ought to be filled. Hey, look, that's the chair. Now, that, uh, that would do it, right? That would do it. That's the assignment. You have to do the chair. You could save it. You could turn it in. You could be done. But what if you want to go for bonus? Here we go. Well, the, you, you kind of saw the end table already. Think it through, folks. You know, here's my little table that's going to go next to the chair. I'm going to draw a rectangle on the ground and pull it up like that. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to draw a rectangle on the side of that box like this. Take my push-pull and shove it all the way through. Now, if you don't get it all the way through, then orbit so you can. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, you know, that wouldn't be a bad table. You could I've seen tables like that before, but I'm going to go ahead and make I'm going to make the other, I'm going to make it be a four leg table. I guess, you know, the style of the table is up to you. All right, so I'm going to draw a rectangle right in here, shove that all the way through until it goes all the way through there. Okay, good. There's two legs on the table. Similar thing back here. I'm going to just get this all in position where I want it. Okay, that looks good. I uh, use the rectangle tool and draw kind of like that. I'm just eyeballing this to try and make make it look, uh, you know, this isn't all perfectly accurate, but just eyeballing it. I'm going to take that rectangular shape, shove it through. Bingo. Guess what? I have a table. Now remember to get points, you have to fill. So I'm going to go ahead and fill, you know, surfaces on this table. Orbit around, make sure you orbit around and look at, at it from all angles so that you can get everything filled that should be filled. All right. My bucket tool again. There we go. Everything filled that should be filled. Now, I, again, I don't really care about the underneath side. 
it's not hard to do the underneath look at it from underground and just fill it if you want to but um, that's not really a big issue all right the last part of the bonus if you want even more bonus is to put a lamp on the table all right well let's take a look at a way to do the lamp I'm gonna draw a circle like that and I'm gonna push pull that up a smidge don't worry about that being filled that way I'll just take care of that here in a minute I'm going to draw another circle right on top of that circle a little bit smaller and I'm going to pull that up and that's going to be like the pole of the lamp and again I'm going to refill that in a minute but I'll take care of that in a minute and then I'm going to draw yet another circle right on top of that but it's going to be a little bit bigger kind of like that and I'll push pull that up like that and you see what that looks like um, now um, you notice um, the lamp has to have a shade on it that's on the handout here All right, the lamp has to have a shade so uh, back here to sketch up that's my shade that's my lamp shade so let's go ahead and fill this up uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna get metal to fill like the the base and the pole of the lamp that looks pretty good I might fill that inside that way and then I'm just going to get a color to fill the shade of the lamp and you do whatever you like there how about a green shade pow pow there we go hey look the chair is the assignment the table is worth bonus and the lamp is worth bonus I did it I get all kinds of bonus points and everything is done all right so when you get this done you put it together you go file you go save as you get to your network drive I might have to click on this PC right here and then go find your network drive hopefully the network drives will be working if, if the network drives for some reason aren't working save them on your desktop just go to your desktop and save them there all right so this would would be you know you could just call this chair or sketch up number two or whatever and then turn it in that is the end of the movie ladies and gentlemen off you go